Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. And I'm just going to come out with it and be truthful. For the past week and a half, I haven't been focused. I haven't been as focused as I can be, as I need to be. Um, A lot of my tasks, a lot of my goals for the week have not been completed. I've stalled because I can't focus. It's been a dark cloud over my head for multiple reasons. Um, I'm going through a personal crisis right now, a family crisis. Um, I'm remaining hopeful, nevertheless, that um, good news will be delivered. Um, Then you have what happened to Ahmaud Arbery. You have what happened to George Floyd, the public lynchings that occurred on camera. Um, And as a result, this country exploded. We're angry. We're outraged as a black community and anyone who believes in racial and economic justice, you know, whether you're white, Asian, doesn't matter what your ethnicity is. If you believe in racial and economic justice, you are outraged as well. Black people, we are outraged because we have been lynched and murdered in this country ever since we came upon these shores in 1619. And there is an endless list of black men and black women who have been murdered for no reason other than racism and white supremacy. It's frustrating, it's draining. So when you have a personal and a family crisis going on, when you have more and more lynchings on camera going on, and when people erupt and they're angry and it, and it, and it breaks out into riots, into protests all across the country. You know, here in Chicago, I live just two, three blocks from where some of the heaviest rioting occurred this past weekend. I've been hearing police sirens nonstop for days, day and night. Go to sleep hearing police sirens, wake up hearing police sirens. All of these things are a dark cloud over my head. You have small black businesses that have been victims and caught in the crosshairs of these riots. And they've been damaged and, and, you know, property damage and things like that. You have black first responders on the front line during these protests and these riots. Black cops, black medical professionals, black firemen and firewomen who are on the front lines who hate white supremacy and racism just as much as we do. Just as much as everyone who believes in racial and economic justice. They hate it just as much as we do, but they're caught in the crosshairs of chaos. And then you have people calling them Uncle Toms and this and that because they're doing their job. It's very draining on all sides. We're troubled on every side, but we're not distressed. And with all of this going on, you still have to worry about building a business. You still have to worry about chasing your dreams and accomplishing your goals. It's a dark cloud over my head. And I'm sure it's a dark cloud over your head, whatever you're going through, in addition to what we see going on in our country right now. I don't know what the future holds. I'm not a fortune teller. I can't see the future. But what I do know is perseverance will be produced from this pandemic. What I do know is that with every dark cloud in a storm that's hovering over my head, hovering over your head, it's always going to be crepuscular rays. You know what crepuscular rays are? Growing up, I was always intrigued by meteorology. I didn't want to be a weatherman, but it always held my attention. How they talked about clouds, cumulus clouds and, and, and cold fronts and all of these things. When you have a cloud that's blocking out the sun and you see that little twilight of sunlight coming through the cloud, the cloud is still there, but you see sunlight coming through the middle or coming through on the edge of it. The proper term for that is crepuscular rays. Because as we all know, and if you don't know, light can never be overcome by darkness. You can put a candle in the middle of a dungeon, six feet below ground, and that candle is still going to illuminate 
that dungeon. Light can never be overcome by darkness. We are surrounded by darkness. There's a dark cloud over our head, but light can never be overcome by that. So you have to tell yourself, even though I don't know what the future may hold, even though this country is chaotic, even though racial and economic justice still has not been achieved, even though I still have not achieved my goals, even though my business is still not where it needs to be, that light is still in me. And I'm going to continue to push through no matter what. Even if I get bad news in this personal and this family crisis, I have to push through. I can't stop. I cannot allow the darkness to overcome me because the darkness cannot overcome me. Even though racial and economic justice still has not been achieved yet. The same thing Dr. Martin Luther King was fighting for in the 60s. Even though these things still have not been achieved, we cannot stop. We must still persevere. We must still produce and push through these dark clouds. You have to continue to bring yourself back to the square root of what you're doing. Because what you're doing is going to be a little twilight, a little shining light for somebody else. They're going to see you out there putting in work on the front lines, helping, continuing to build despite chaos, despite destruction, despite what's going on in your life. They're going to admire that. And because they admire that, they're going to do a little bit more. And before you know it, that dark cloud, it disappears. It evaporates. It's gone. The storm is over. Sunny days are here. You know that song, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone? That's true. Because now you can see better. And at the end of the day, it makes you a better person. It makes you a better entrepreneur. And it makes you stronger. That's not a metaphor. That's a fact. So that's what I got to tell myself. Despite this personal and this family crisis I'm going through. I'm hopeful for good news. And I know good news is coming. But even if it doesn't, I can't let that keep me in this rut, even though racial justice and economic justice still isn't achieved, I have to continue to work towards that. We have to continue to work towards our goals. We have to continue to work towards building our businesses despite every obstacle and every dodgeball that life throws at us. We cannot allow that to make us tap out. We just can't let it happen. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. It may be a dark cloud over you right now. It may be a storm that's stopping you from achieving your goals and polluting your mind and you can't focus. But don't forget that that twilight is going to come through because light can never be overcome by darkness. Light devours darkness. That's a fact. Scientifically, religiously, however way you want to look at it, it's a fact. If this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, I ask for two things as always. Number one, please pass it on to someone who may benefit from it as well. And number two, please leave a five-star review. Have a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you next week.